Currently, we know several risk factors for heart disease, but there are still some unanswered questions about risk. We're still doing research about what's the effect of testosterone on heart disease. Does low testosterone in men increase their risk of heart disease, which we are finding it does? Number two, what about air pollution? Inhaled particulate matter, so people who are affected by ground zero inhaled lots of pollution at a very high dose and are having subsequent results in their lungs and actually we're looking at the effects on their heart and translating that to the effect of air pollution on all of us. So on one hand, we're going to be better at finding all the risks that can cause heart attacks and heart disease. And number two, we're actually coming up with better procedures that don't require open heart surgery. There are more procedures we can do we, with minimally invasive techniques, such as taking a new valve and putting it through an artery through the leg and threading it up to the heart. And I think the future will be using more technology to do less invasive surgeries, but still have very good outcomes.